So a lot of people in Poland loves, absolutely loves Mamet Halidov. A lot of people loves you also. So uh, there are for sure there are some guys that will be very happy with this news that we have for you guys. Uh, a rematch with Mamet Halidov. I know, Scott, that you wasn't really was a, wasn't a really a fan of this uh, rematch. So why did you pick the fight? Uh, it is what it is. That's the fight uh, the, um, the owners want to make. That's the fight, the fight we've got. Uh, there's nothing much more I can say on it. Um, I'll have to beat them all twice. As simple as that. I feel like it's um, my fifth fight on KSW with my third opponent. It's a little bit crazy, but that, that is what it is. Okay, so uh, we saw this last fight. We know that you have your game plan for fighting with Moment. Uh, it's a good plan because you don't um, don't let him to to expand his skills. So what now? <laughs> Do we see the repeat of this first fight? No, no. So th this this one is uh, over five rounds, and uh, I'm planning on putting him out. I'm taking him out. No two ways about it. I feel like. Uh, I shut his game down. I, I don't, it's not a fight that I, I, I look back and see see a way. I try to be. I try to watch it from Mamid's point of view. I try to watch that fight back and think, how can I win that fight? Mm -hmm. And I, I don't understand what he thinks. I don't. I don't understand where he sees he wins. I beat him in the scrambles. I, every every time he did something, I shut it down. What 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 else can he do? And he was on his knees at the end of the fight. There's a picture. I'm bent over, shaking his hand. He's on his knees. Like he's literally, he's, he's not built for five rounds. If he were built for five rounds, it would have been a five-round fight the first time. I'm, t I'm I, my plan is taking Mami Kalilov out, whether it's early or late. I, I, I'm taking him out. I'm, I'm not leaving anything to a, to a decision this time. So we are talking about five rounds. So we are talking about the title. Fight. Yes, of course. Yeah, okay. yeah. With three loss in a row in case of. No. Well, that, that's not that's not my decision. That's it is what it is. Uh, Mami's a legend and. Uh, uh, listen, I, 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 I sort of suppose I've got to thank Mamid a little bit for the positions I've been in. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed that it's Mamid. I'm a, it, it is what it is. I, I, I want a Naku next. That, that, that's, he's going to have to wait one fight. But this is, this, this is all things that we've got, uh, we've got sorted now. I fight Mamid, fight Naku. Okay. One thing I want to know, you've got a great big money for this fight. Tell me, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you happy with your money that you are going to take for this fight? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I recently, I recently announced that I've, I've signed a new contract with KSW, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very, I'm very, I've been happy with KSW since I, since I joined them. I feel like it's a great promotion. Obviously, my times, my times there has been great, but the the fans, every, everything, it's all it's all amazing. I, I can't, I honestly, I'm not just saying it just because I've uh, I've signed a new contract. I can't, I can't say a bad word about KSW. I'm I, I'm a, I'm an happy fighter. Uh, you know, I always say an happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. So it is what it is. Uh, I, like I said, obviously, I didn't want to fight Mamid again, but. It, it's, it's an undeal. So, if you would be a matchmaker in KSW, who would you um, find for Mamed Khalidov to, to fight with in an, his next fight? Well, I, I suggest as Matilda. I feel like uh, inverse Matilda is a good fight. But listen, uh, the fight signed. We, we, we both think we're going to win. No doubt, Mamed thinks he's going to win. But like, like I said, I'm. I, I'm not going in there for a decision this time. Do you know what I mean? Like that wasn't really the game plan last time. To be honest with you, it was just how, how it unfolded. Uh, he, he actually took me down in round one and then get, and then gave up give up position. Uh, I know he said in interviews that he heard my ankle pop, which is absolutely ludicrous. That that never happened. Uh, I feel like. Um, I don't know what it is with Mamid. I feel like uh, I I I don't know if you use this term in in in, in Poland, but like uh, I feel like he's like Pied Piper, like he's there with with his flute and he, and, he, and whatever he says, he gets the fans listening. Um, I, I understand that he's a superstar, but uh, some of the stuff he says is just is, is crazy. I, like I've got no respect for Mamid. I'll say this openly in front of anyone. I've got no respect for him. I don't I, I don't particularly like the guy. Do you know what I mean? And it's not because I fought him. Like. Every time I see Matilda, me we'll have a conversation. I, I like the guy. We fought each other twice. I mean, Mamid's honestly is a baby. Like he, he put he puts on social media that uh, the the shush shine with, with three shots of emitting me. Like I, I would have even got shots of emitting me. I don't know because I, I shut him down the whole fight. Um, and then and then he, he says in interviews I should be ashamed to win like this. 
I should be ashamed to win like this. He should be he should be ashamed to lose like this. Do you know what I mean? He, he's laid on his back, waving me to the floor. He's not trying to scramble to his feet. And why, why do you think he's not trying to scramble to his feet? Because he'll gas he'll gas out. That's why. And he thinks he's gonna beat me over five rounds. Abs absolutely no way in this world. I, I, prom I promise you. It, if if he, if he tries tries to get up off his back, that's a tiring thing to do. I'll create scrambles, I'll make him tired, and I'll put him out there. Mark my, my, my words, Mark my, my Kalidovsky and took it out of. Okay, so Scott, we are seeing each other at 10 October uh, in Poland again. I know that you are happy for fighting. <laughs> Yeah, of course I'm happy. Yeah, like I said, I can't wait to showcase my skills to the fans. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how I come across to the fans. I feel like some of them like me, some of them hate me. Obviously, Mum is a legend. And like, like I say, what, what, whatever he says, that they, they, they like. Oh, like I get whatever Mum says, I get comments off other fans. What exactly what he said? Like it's just like, oh, come, come on, do you know I, mean? like, I know he's your guy and that, but. It is what it is. Uh, I think I think it's time for him to step to the side, but uh, I'll have to put him to the side. So for us fans, it's like uh, you are telling something, Mum is telling something. We we have something to think about, so I think it's good. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much, Scott, for this talk, and see you in Poland. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you.